Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I wanted to take a quick look at Music Box Alpha. This is by the same creator of LaunchBox, so essentially we're getting a music front end here. Now this doesn't tie in with LaunchBox at all. LaunchBox is an emulator front end, this is a music front end. It's really easy to set up, and since it launched, I've actually been using this on a small Atom PC. It's an Atom Z8300 with a touchscreen and a Bluetooth speaker. So I've listened to more music in the past week since this launch than I have in the past two years using anything else. This is just so awesome to have set up. This will run in the background on your Windows PC if you want it to. I do have some royalty-free music here, downloaded on YouTube. Go ahead and start one of these tracks real quick. But I'm going to head over to the website real quick and just show you. You can download it now. It is free to use, but there is a paid version. Right now it's on sale. It is free to use. There's a thousand song limit for the non-paid version. There's a premium version you can pay for, and it's unlimited. You can add as many albums as you have. Runs really good on low-end hardware, and I want to kind of show you guys that it's running real good with a touchscreen and a low-end computer. Alright, so this is the setup I've been using. This is a B-Link mini PC with a Z8350 CPU at 1.6 gigahertz. The screen I'm using is a portable HDMI monitor. It runs on 5 volts, it's 15.6 inches, and they're pretty pricey on Amazon. And I'm using a little Devoom Bluetooth speaker. This is the Time Box. I really love this thing. It actually sounds really good. You can actually download an app and draw pixel art on the front. It has a little LED matrix display. I'm going to go ahead and start Music Box Alpha. This app is in the early stages of development, so a lot of features are going to be on the way, like custom themes and things like that. But right now, I haven't had any trouble with it crashing or anything like that on this small little PC. And as you can see, it does run it on this low-end hardware. I'd love to throw some Radiohead on here, but I can't due to copyright. So I did download some music on YouTube that I can legally play in my videos. Go ahead and start a song here. Double tap and it'll start playing. I really do love this little Bluetooth speaker. I use it all the time and I get about six hours of battery life out of it. It's really easy to add all your albums. I have all of my music in a folder called music. So I'll just go to the settings and I'll add that folder. Music, click okay. It'll auto populate all the albums and download the artwork for you automatically. So I'm really digging it. I've been using it since the day it came out. If you're interested in trying this out, there is a free version, like I said. You don't need a dedicated system like this to run it. I just wanted to show you that it will work on lower end hardware. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. Link is in the description to the Music Box Alpha website. Go ahead and give it a shot. It's only going to get better over time. If you ever used LaunchBox back in the day when it first released, you know how far it's come along. So I'm sure that Music Box Alpha is going to do the same thing. Like always, thanks for watching.